Hi everybody, tennis coach Robert here. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about taking the racket back and also a little bit of taking the ball on the rise because the two of them are somewhat related in this context. So we're talking about taking the ball on the rise and also um, going ahead and making sure we're not taking the racket back or turning the body too much. I see this a lot of times. So we go back to our basic premise of tennis, which is throwing the ball. So ultimately, if I want to throw the ball very hard, I'm going to turn my body sideways to rotate. But if I don't have time, I'm not going to rotate my body. I'm going to go ahead and just step and throw. Okay, so like you, you see this in perhaps baseball, you don't always have the time to turn your body sideways to throw. In some cases, you will even see them catch the ball and just toss the ball this way to go forward. What is important to note is that when I did that, and whenever I throw, when I release the ball, my belly is facing forward. Okay, so if I, it happens quickly, I just toss, my belly is facing forward. If I toss the ball this way, it's going forward. But we look, <clears throat> we're looking for ultimately accuracy, okay? I could throw the ball like this, but it will be not in an accurate way. So we want, we're talking about accuracy here. So this applies to tennis as well. So I see this a lot of times where people are hitting tennis balls and when they're hitting tennis balls and they're trying to take the ball early or they're being quote unquote rushed, they will go ahead and they will take the racket back the same way every single time. So even if, even if you're at the baseline, I'm right here on the 60 foot baseline. Um, if somebody is hitting the ball to you, you don't always, even if you're back here, take the racket all the way back and turn your body sideways. You shouldn't always turn your body sideways. Because if you, don't, if you do that all the time, and I see this time and again, where people are hitting the ball late. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. So the ball, ball is coming from the ball machine. And here, as you can see, I'm clearly late by turning my body sideways. So here, I'm turning my body sideways. So because of that, I can't swing properly. So what a better option would be for me to just stand here, lunge, and take the ball forward. So here, lunge, and take the ball forward. So now I'm taking this ball on the rise, and I'm having success because I'm not hitting, turning my body sideways. So if somebody takes this, and the ball is coming back here, if the ball comes back here, and I'm trying to hit it, I'm gonna hit it in this position, to the side in front of me here, but I'm not creating enough force to go forward. So what I'm gonna do in that case is, I'm gonna start using my arm and all kinds of other things to try to compensate, okay? So you see people wanting to take the ball and rise. You see professional tennis players, we all wanna emulate the professionals and without realizing that these people are some of the best athletes in the world. They're the point, 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 whatever, 1%. They hit the ball harder than anything we'll ever notice, but we wanna be like these people, okay? We wanna to try to do it. And I, I understand it to some degree, but when the ball comes to you at that pace and you turn your body sideways and you want to take the ball early, it's not going to happen. So again, it's better if we just stay here and we lunge forward and take the ball early. So I have plenty of time because I can time the ball and just lunge forward using that basic lunging motion. So we talked about this and I've said it in a few other videos when I've talked about the basic human movement, okay? So the important thing here is to make sure that we're able to lunge, okay? That's gonna create the force. So I, my arm is relaxed in this situation. I lunge and I go forward. This is very similar to many times when you see uh, return of serve where you see highly skilled players taking the ball early. These balls are coming at incredible speeds and they stand in the middle of the court here. They're not even back there retreating to cut off angles and other different things. But they get into these positions right here. Ball is coming quickly. They, they go ahead, they go ahead and they take that racket back and they lunge forward to be able to take it early. So if you wanna go ahead and work on that, that requires a lot of timing, coordination, and tracking skills, okay? So that tracking skill to track the ball, to be able to take it early, that's a little bit of a challenging situation. It's a little bit easier with the tracking to give yourself a little bit more time. But remember this, you're gonna give yourself a little bit more time 
by just doing the basic motion of stepping into the ball as opposed to turning your body sideways and trying to hit it. Because if I turn my body sideways again, I'm going to strike the ball here. And when I strike it here, I have no force. So I always want to be, when I'm striking ball, to be at contact, to be this way. So I have force. So like if I'm pushing this cart and I'm trying to generate force, I'm generating the force this way. Okay, I don't want to be sideways trying to push it this way. So when the ball comes, I'm generating force to go in this direction. Okay, so to take the ball on the rise or if the ball is coming to you very quickly, do not take the racket back too far like this. If you're jammed, you're better off just stepping forward and taking it on the rise, guiding the ball because the, the principles here that we want to, 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 to have as our baseline is to get the ball in direction, not just hitting the ball for the sake of hitting. Remember, we're playing tennis. We're not just hitting for the sake of hitting. So I could come here and the ball comes here and I could do something like this. I'm hitting balls. Yes, I'm hitting like all over the place. I'm doing all kinds of crazy things. You know, trying to do top spin, trying to do all kinds of things, but I want that ball to go where I need it to go. And in this situation, the easiest way for me to do that is by lunging forward and pushing because I'm jammed here and I'm taking the ball nice and early. So as you can see, it's just a basic lunge and coming forward. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. I thank you so much for tuning in. And one thing that I want you guys to do with these videos is to watch them and of course, try to apply them. That's the only way we're gonna get better, okay? Because I'm here to help you guys to become better at playing tennis. I'm not just interested in having you go out there and hit balls and try to figure out the best way to, to hit more topspin, to do these different things. And we don't know why we're doing all these things. We wanna play tennis from a exercise point of keeping the ball in play, becoming physically active, or from a competitive point, how to strategically and smartly outplace the shots and, and outplay your opponent, okay, by using smarts and not too much just trying to hit the ball and just hitting, trying to get more this, more that, and all these other things and trying to copy uh, people who we will never be able to copy. So it's just better for us to just play tennis and that's the goal. So having said that, uh, you know, the best thing for you guys to do is just not watch me but go out and actually apply it, okay? That's the thing that I would like to see you guys do. Go out and try the things in that I suggest in my videos and just not watching them, okay? Because we, we all like to watch sports. We all like to do these things. And sometimes we may not really like to do the things out there physically, but go out there and try these different things. So as a tennis player, go out there, try it, go and play tennis. And these things here will surely improve your game, okay? So thank you so much for tuning in today. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please do. And go out there and play tennis. For more information on Carbo Tennis, visit www.carbotennis.com. If you wish to email Coach Robert, please do so at robert at carbotennis.com or visit his Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash Carbo Tennis. Tennis for the people. This video was an ADCI LLC production and was filmed at the North Pinellas YMCA located in Palm Harbor, Florida.